Yeah, 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 man, we made it out here to Lebanon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's your so yeah, what? Riley's what bringing his Buick yeah. out here, but he had problems. I guess the fuel pump took a yeah. shit, so he had to run home and he had to grab the Mustang. Yeah. Got some cute chicks in that passenger seat of that truck, though. But yeah, anyway, we made it out here without a glitch. But Riley ended up having a problem with the Electra. He thinks the fuel pump's taking a shit. The fuel filter he has right after it is pretty much empty. So he limped that home, and he's gonna grab the one Mustang that we got showing at his house. Because everybody knows there's a million Mustangs over at Riley's house. So I'm gonna walk around a little bit and show you guys what's here tonight. recognize this car over here. Didn't I already film this thing? Oh wait, there's... <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, you still got the Carlisle sticker. Yes. Oh. I gotta teach you something about this Carlisle sticker that we just discovered. So get this. We went to the Carlisle show at, what, for God, GM Nationals, but we rolled back through with the wagon and my buddy's Buick for the Mopar show, and the guy that was rolling cars in saw the sticker and didn't even ask a question. He just assumed it belonged to the show, so we got into the Mopar show for free. I mean, come on, what do they charge? $10 for the GM show and $15 for the Mopar show? They like to upcharge for that one? Yeah, right, we got them for free. <laughs> so. Well, now they know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, if you go to the earlier Carlisle shows, don't scrape the sticker off until the season's over. Because <laughs> they don't know any better. Tell them that. Nice, got electric windows, how it should be. Got the four speed. It's a nice piece right here. It's a cool 70. Yeah, it is a cool color combo. Oh, it's got the cash induction hood on it, and it's a four speed. Got a 396 in it. This thing smells like gas. Smells good. Cash induction with the flapper. As it should be. That's a mean looking car. I love that. Yeah. It sits very well too. Back's not too low. I'd raise it up in the back. I'd raise bit. it. I was about to say, I'd raise the back up about an inch, but it's not like some cars you see. Like some cars you see where the ass ends just pull right on the ground. There we go. It's not an 84 or older, but it's still a Z, and it's not a. I'm pretty sure it's an 85. 
Yeah, it was. No, no third brake light. Well, I like it. It's all right. I like the two tone on these cars. It's not an IROC. Suck cock for IROC. I hate IROCs. Oh, it's got electric windows in it. Nice. But it needs the T tops. Oh, here's a cool car sitting behind it, though. Look at this. That's a Valari. <laughs> the T top. Yeah, I know. It's a cool car. Look at it. It's got nice wheels on it, it's got flares. T top car. It's not a bad car. Look, bucket seats, floor shifter. I'd drive something like this. It's got a nice steering wheel in it, too. Do I dig it? It's strange and unique and not in a bad way. It needs some deep dish in the back though. If I had some deep dish wheels, it'd set it off. <laughs> I dig it, man. I like this thing. Got either a 318 or a 360. I don't think they come like that from the factory. Maybe they do, but the AC compressor is painted blue. Interesting. Not a Ford guy, but I'd drive this thing. Four speed. Nice. <clears throat> it's a Chrysler AC. Cordoba's got the same one. It's just not painted blue. And look what we got over here. See, look, this one's done right. I could drive this car because they put the correct color interior in it and not that nasty gold shit. But that's the wrong interior. I don't care. They fixed it. You know, the TV show and the movie had it wrong. It should never have been beige. Black well, interior. Would... Open the door. That's the other thing that's wrong with But these cars should have came with black interior from the TV show. The nasty mustard interior has to go. It was funny. I was watching. It does have the better flag license plate on it. On the also, roof. there's another thing it's missing. Hang on, Dak. 68 Firebird. Oh, yeah. 400 car. Look at the meats on this thing. Look at them. Yeah. Oh, it's got chrome mud flaps. That's badass. <laughs> no, some of these general leaves, the early ones, and the season one of the television show I had cross flags right here oh yeah they got rid of it because they needed to build a bunch of these cars and those had to be hand painted on too much work to do yeah and this 69 Chevelle over here set, set of the show anytime any car got stuck they would drive the General Lee up to it use the brush bull bar on the front of it push it out That's a nice looking 68. 68's got, or 69 I mean, but 68's and 9's got such a nice roof line. You gotta love this quarter window right here. It's kind of like our Skylark. Oh look, they got an El Torino. I swear she's going. These things are pretty cool too. I wonder what's in this thing. Probably 302. 302 or 360. 460. 460? Yeah. Nice. I didn't know if Ford was like Chrysler putting a distributor at the back with the big blocks. I wish uh, it was small. And then we got this thing over here. Oof. I would drive this thing. That is a badass looking car. I don't know if it's a 383 or a 440. It don't matter to me. This thing's pretty damn cool. I love the roof line on these cars too. Yeah, dash. Seems badass. Hold on. Look at all that quarter panel that needs waxed. All these cars right here. See, I don't see anything wrong there. I'd drive it just like it is. Still put the pinhole in it, you get water in your car. Who gives a shit? My cars don't come out in the rain. Mine are better than yours. See, Riley's over here complaining about rust and wear and tear. His cars are peasants. They sit out in the driveway under trees. Mine get the royal treatment. 
He doesn't know what that's like though. <laughs> See, yeah, look at that face. Don't drive your cars he don't know what the royal treatment you is. You can't drive your cars most of the time because you're not only will you not drive it in the rain, you're drive it because you're afraid of rain. It could be a nice sunny day and you won't drive it. No, if it's a nice day, I take the car out. If it gets shitty outside, I take it home. Like I said, royal treatment. I see the, I see the colors driven three times. But this thing's pretty cool. Yeah. That's why I bought it, but not too many of them. I've done that before. <laughs> Check it out. Man, just sitting in traffic, sitting in this thing. And it's not even a post car. <laughs> I like it. Alright, so I'm not one to be... I don't really like Fox bodies, but this one's acceptable. If I was going to drive one of these, I'd have to have the older style sealed beams in the front. I like those. This one looks pretty good. With some, got some deep dish going on in the back. And most important of all, it's got T-tops. It's a five-speed. It's got an old Sun Super Tac 2 in it. And it's got loopers on the back. So, as, for, as much as I hate Fox Body Mustangs, that one's alright. 